It's time for change. Y'all know what's going on in the world, and I mean, in America right now. Like, the whole situation with George Floyd. Like, what's your stance on the protesting and people, people like going out there knowing that COVID's still around? Like, right. I, I on the fence with that. I on the fence with the, the whole protesting scenario. I on the fence with it. Like, I understand what's going on. I'm sure y'all probably, probably heard, heard this already. Like, it's, it's the buildup of a lot of things happening and people that's really sick and tired, really. It is at the point, at the point, they've been in their house all this time, at the point, and this, a lot of people are still getting killed, so it's, it's more fuel for them to just lash out and do stuff. But I, I rather peaceful protesting, really, because they destroying, burning down buildings, but who are really affecting? I don't think it's affecting the government, really, or the powers that be. It really affecting people who own these places. Could be black owners as well. Like I don't know about burning down and looting. I don't know all, but I don't think that's cool. I don't think we should. I understand what's happening though. They just at the point. They had they they already passed a breaking point. So they, this is what we gotta do to show them that this ain't no joke. But then on the next side, who's that? Who's that hurting though? I mean, if you if you have a planned selected riot, like you're gonna like the police station and stuff, you want to get that or a known racist building or who only have whites or et cetera. Then if it's a planned spot, you want to burn up. I can understand that more, but that's to burn up the whole streets and people car, like that could be people with livelihood going for the rest of their life. Nah, they have to struggle to bring that back. Yeah. I agree. I agree with you um, in terms of, um, some some people be taking it too far, but I feel like rioting and burning down establishments is somewhat slightly justified in terms of the old way of doing things of just peaceful protesting hasn't been working. There needs yeah. to be some type of other like show them we need we mean business like this ain't work before people still getting killed. But I don't agree with it where you endangering other people's lives. Yeah. I can understand you burning down uh, a government establishment, but at the same time, you burning down apartment buildings, breaking up apartment buildings where people live in. Yeah. So far it's like it's rough, but like I don't know. I don't I don't I don't agree with endangering innocent lives, but I agree that the protesting and rioting is okay, in my opinion. With the whole, like, I, I was just saying with the whole, whole COVID versus rioting, and I was like, to me, I was still talking to you guys. I, I knew I was a damn if you do and damn if you don't moment. If, if, you, if you decide not to ride because of the safety of your health, do you know coronavirus is still present and you still still infectious still a deadly infectious disease that can be caught within the human body um a lot of people say well if you don't join this riot you're the part of the problem we don't know what i'm doing behind the scenes posting on social media social media is a very powerful tool that can travel very quickly then breaking up destroying and um destroying the whole city which is i think is is a powerful part of being heard i agree somewhat what that the method of madness is because if you don't do these things you would not be heard because the walks didn't work the social media didn't work um the, the talking to congress didn't work you know talking to social groups didn't work so we have to go to war in order for you to listen but at the expense of endangering everybody at the same time so it's sort of like a dime if you don't a dime if you do moment you know what I mean? So you gotta go based off your your law your laws and your principles. You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, I'm gonna stand for Joy Floyd. I'm gonna stand up for against all the principalities that you know believe killing black people is okay. You know what I'm saying? That which is totally on the contrary of wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Um, I feel like I know. I I I I um. I basically like in the middle too. Like I know personally myself, I I don't think I would be like 
burning down businesses and burning down things that I potentially, you know, that in our community, I wouldn't be burning down not my property either, but I do understand the perspective of the amount of situations that happen. You hear about all these other stuff, like people in the lobby and they getting shot at 40 something times. Sean Bailey was out coming out of his car, gets shot out 50 something times. And in all these situations, the police officers got off. You know what I mean? From the video, how it looks, he looks like, like I said to y'all, it looked like this scene his first rodeo. And clear as day, as you go back on his track record, he has been involved in the shooting of a minority individual before. So all this leads into why people act in this way. Now, I do agree it could be, I guess, the, the, is a peaceful protest still considered somewhere where they're making noise and shouting out? Is that still considered? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's still peaceful. Standing outside, locking arms, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, well, from that perspective, I would more so lean towards the using my voice, etc. But I, what I also do, like, I was listening to um this uh, CNN correspondent. She basically was talking to this um uh. I think he's just a member of Congress and I forgot which, which um, state or whatever. But they basically right now also a lot of lawyers working on legislation coupled with what's going on now to try and, and hasten the legal parameters around everything that's going around too. So you can't just be on the street, in my opinion, you can't just be on the street one and change, one and change, and no one working on the back end for legislation too. So that's what I like to see where it's legislation being pushed plus people on the road as well and I ain't no lawyer I don't know a lot about it either but I just would rather see both in tandem and then you could go from there but I like I said I don't agree with the, the, the burning down but it's hard for me to say because I'm not directly affected in it even though we're all indirectly affected because we are black individuals and if we was put in that situation it could be us too right. we, so, we, we, we in George Floyd family we don't know what they know go. exactly we, we don't know we don't we don't know you can't, you can't, like I said, and in 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 uh, like I said, you can't tell them it's going to be all right. Because we, we told, they told countless black families it's going to be okay. They told yeah. plenty of times we can get your justice. We, we, you know, it's people we don't forget about, but we didn't forget. We, we still remember. But yeah, the, the police has done did their vacation in Florida and come back. Yeah. Yeah, so I know. I just feel like the legislature coupled with the protesting is a step in the right direction. Um, I was listening to the Killer Mike stuff. I know Laton shared that already. I watch it as well. Mm -hmm. They basically talk about this is a transformative position where you have to be smart about how you act into the future and how this could be possibly the the means and this the right culture of how it is now. It feels like this is the means in order to change in general because this is like one from what I've seen, I'm not been exposed to it that much from but from what I've seen, it's like this is one of the most times where everyone is basically in the cause from what you can see from the outside looking in. This yeah. has been the biggest revolution that I've seen in in this. And we know it's been existing. From history, from the examples that I've sharing, these in the nineties, the two thousands, we all could always could go back into the sixties or whatever, what happened, but this is looking like the most transformative and revolution. Um, revolutionary pl place that I've yeah, seen. It, it's the worst that it's been since since uh, the, the, the those uh, first times with all the Black Panthers and all that stuff. This is the worst it's been in the last 15 years where everyone it was like every other day you hearing about someone getting shot unjusti unjustifiably. Yeah, I mean the, the type of videos that we've been sharing is like this boy this white individual, he was he was coming by the police, the police stopping him, and he telling the police to get in his car and leave. He attacking the police, doing all of this, hitting him. And then in the next one, the, the black man like this, he putting his hands up and they come kicking him. So, I mean, but yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know about it, but I see Will Smith say it's not about it being more, it's that it's just being more documented now. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people are saying, it's just being more documented, but it always was that. So I don't know if it's changed or it's because it's being more documented. I don't know, but yeah, because it's being filmed now. It's more, it's more like in the public. But it's been going on. I believe that, but it's obviously yeah. you get you got to think about it in a way that uh, the guy who's on George Floyd's neck is is uh, millions of those guys around. This that mm -hmm. mindset is a common mindset, and 
I agree with Killer Mike. Like, it's the time now to, I know it's hard to do, but we got to come together in groups and we got to get certain people in the power. Like, probably to seek power in this type of time. And that's how you can get changed. But I know that's a long process, though, to get who you want in power and this and that. Like, people got to, people got to try to do that. Put people in place who have the mindset of, like, this ain't, this ain't cool. Like, this ain't. We, we have people in power. I, I don't to cut you off. We have people yeah. in power. This happened under the, uh, I'm sure, this happened under the Obama watch as well. Yeah. Uh, all this, most of the things happened under Obama. Obama didn't want these things to happen, but this happened yeah. under the Obama watch. It's within, I don't know, just... But that's the problem of it being systematic, yeah. too. It's yeah, not yeah. even just one person. It's systematic. Yeah, yeah we gotta get... So the whole, problem is the whole system. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing, not the leadership. The leadership was okay. I, I won't say Trump is okay. I just said Obama and George Bush was there, and I'm sure they, they were they were really great presidents. And those things were still was happening. Then yeah, I feel like just like if you look at the one situation with the guy, the police was on George Floyd neck. If a person who was uh, like I don't know who supervisor or, or captain or whatever, he really had so much things ready on his record. He should mm -hmm. have been off the force before this even happened. If that's if that those type of things need to be in place, like. It should be screening like you don't have four or five strikes against you, this or whatever. You won't be supposed to be out there. You won't be supposed to be answering no At normal questions. Put them to the desk, exactly. Put them to the yeah. desk and let them do something else. Yeah. But the problem with a lot of these states or whatever is that they have, um, what's it called? They're short change with the amount of officers they even have to be on duty. So that's yeah. another problem as to why you turn a blind eye because he's able and an able body to be out there and you have so much low numbers to even go and police the, the, the community, you ride him out there as, as a manager, or as a supervisor, whatever. But that's the problem. You just have to Correct. have a no tolerance policy. Correct. This, this, this fight is huge. This is a huge fight. This is like only way to commit this big change. Like I say, is the millions of those guys are the millions. They, they, racism they, is alive and strong. I can say so, this. Like, maybe I said maybe, I was going to say this, maybe George Floyd can maybe change everything. Yeah, and like I can say that this is one of the most things that I've seen in a while. I, I mean, I've only been on the search for 26, but, or 27, sorry. 27? I think 27. Yeah, anyway, I've only been on the search for 27, so this is the most that I've seen. This is the most that I've seen, so uh, you can see, bro. It's hard to do this, bro. It's hard to... So this is like this is like a world change. It has to be a world change. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard. Not impossible. Sandra Bland, every you know, yeah. and all them. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll leave you all. We'll leave you all there on that note. If you have anything else to say about that, you know, we'll we'll be we'll be on story post. You know, we post a little bit about it. So. You know, go follow Sean King if you're listening. He have all a, a, a lot a lot of updates on the scenario, so go follow him and get more information about it. But yeah, anyway, we'll be in touch. <laughs>